Welcome to USF College Daily. I'm Lachey Tatum. The view from the rooftops of the USF buildings is unlike any other. It offers a look into campus life from its highest point. However, roof climbing is considered trespassing and illegal on campus. College Daily reporter Ellie Herman takes us to the top to explain just why. Watch your step. Stay close to the wall. We'll be fine. The University of Sioux Falls rooftops offer a unique but illegal vantage point. Looks like the exterior is almost done. As exciting as it may seem to have a bird's eye view, there are many elements that make the rooftops on campus dangerous. Jeff McDonald, the assistant director of campus safety and security, warns students of possible risks and penalties. If, uh, if something were to be damaged up here and a student's caught up here, they could be held you know, monetarily responsible as well as getting sanctions from the university. And since it's a key to access to get up here, you could probably also be charged with trespassing for the simple fact that you don't have a right or a, a reason to be up here. Uh, the only people that usually are up here are maintenance and then vendors repairing equipment. Without having an access key, there is no easy or safe way to get on the roof. However, the access areas normally require you to climb a complete vertical ladder. And then you gotta climb up the ladder to get up top. On the rooftops of buildings like Jeske and the McDonald's Center, a flat floor plan and low side railing is designed for the safety of those allowed on top. Buildings with an arched roof enable most from climbing on top of it unless absolutely necessary. Welcome to the roof of the McDonald's Center. For USF College Daily, I'm Ellie Herman. USF Campus Safety and Security is committed to providing a safe and healthy environment for all students, faculty, and staff. With that, for your own safety, please do not climb on the roofs. In Sioux Falls News, two very cute and unusual animals will be calling the Great Plains Zoo home for the next several months. The zoo announced on April 13th that two male koalas will be on temporary exhibit available for viewing on May 13th. The koalas are on loan from the San Diego Zoo and will be a part of the zoo's koala wilds exhibit. Currently, only 19 zoos in the U.S. care for the koalas with the closest zoo in Ohio. The Great Plains Zoo and Dell Bridge Museum of National History is open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Visit the zoo online at greatzoo.org or call 605-367-7003 for more information about the zoo and museum. And that's all we have time for today. Come back tomorrow for another news update. For USF College Daily, I'm Lachey Tatum.